My name is Alone and welcome to another Zero Zero. This one is very exciting. I will be getting into the Nightmare of Ashihama and this is my setup for my first, maybe second and third kill just to learn the mechanics. It is full tank and actually the shield has a crush option. So you can see here it has 137 crush with this gear which is the weakness of the Nightmare. Also, by the way, before the video starts, if you want to join my Discord, the link to that, to that will be at the top of the description. Hope you guys will enjoy the video. Okay, so uh, I'm about to get my first Nightmare kill in the Mass World. I have to say, I am very pleasantly surprised with this boss. It was extremely simple. I didn't expect it to be this easy. Of course it might be easier because I am using full tank gear. I don't actually have to do the, all the prayer flicks correct to uh, not get one shot. Um, but yeah, I am very surprised at how easy this boss is. I mean, I probably used way too much supplies. I'm not sure how, actually how much I used, but I'm pretty sure I used a decent amount. By the way, this is post commentary, sorry for that. Um, I couldn't really record at the time of getting the kill. Um, but yeah, I, okay, I used pretty much all of my food. Um, but very easy fight to be honest. Uh, might try even with DPS gear pretty soon because I didn't really have to uh, do that much. Second kill here. I, I'm still using the tank gear, but I actually want to change to the DPS gear because uh, the higher defense you have, the more the boss is going to attack you. So uh, you actually have to deal with the melee hit, which you don't actually have to probably deal with if you're in DPS gear. So here we go, this is now the setup I'm going to be using. I look pretty much like everyone else here, except I don't have a face guard. That is an unfortunate uh, turn of events. But um, yeah, I will have to get that in the future, I guess. But I have an Aram switch and a trident with a Saradome cape. Oh my goodness, look at this. There's only three people here and I am one of them. So many people died. It is insane. I have no idea how people died. We were like 20 people in the beginning, just like every mass in this world, and everyone just died. And I am actually very happy about it, because it made me have to focus more on what I'm doing than just like kind of doing nothing and just following everyone else. And so I feel like that was a good learning experience, and it actually is not hard. I mean, it is still very easy to do this. I'm rarely screwing up anything. Of course, there's things I can do to be or more optimal because I did use a lot of food. But um, yeah, not really the hardest thing to do. Let's see if I get MVP now that I survived. Uh, I don't think so. That's not big bones. Yeah, not MVP. Guess one of the other guys got it. Of course, the only downside to having a mass like this in the world is that you rarely get MVP, if ever. So uh, the loot chances of getting rares is a bit lower, but uh, that is the fourth kill done. After this uh, fifth kill that we just got now, I am going to wait until milestone kills to show you guys the loot, so it's not just boring loot all the time, but uh, five done. Okay, so that is now 10 kills done on the Nightmare of Ashihama, and I am doing it with a DPS setup. It is very easy. Even tanking actually with this setup is not that hard at all. I can do two kills per trip. I teleport back here, and I go again, so pretty good. So far, of course, no rare drops. I'm actually going to join a random five-man right here, which is actually a very efficient way of doing the Nightmare. So I will be trying a couple of five-mans with these random people, and uh, let's see how it's going to go compared to a mass. Coming in on the end of the first Nightmare kill as a five-man group, and, uh, well, it is actually even easier than a mass, which is very funny. Every single mass kill is like six minutes, and what is this kill going to be as a five man? Let's see what it's going to be. I'm going to guess like five minutes, maybe? Uh, what does it say? It doesn't say how long it was. Oh, 454. That is so good. Done a few kills now with this group. I think this is uh, the second trip, and we are now at 26 KC overall, and the kills are still fast, like 522. Very nice to do 5 mans. Now this will be the last kill that I'm going to be doing with this group, but uh, I definitely feel like I wanna make uh, 5 mans or 3 mans or maybe even try duos. Oh, did he just die? Oh, he was 1 HP, look at our tank! That was so close, but yeah, I would prefer to not to do as much masses, but uh, yeah. Let's see if I can maybe do duos, maybe try a solo or something in this video. Now before we get into more nightmare killing, uh, I have a small thing I want to show you guys. So I was actually away three days at my summer house because it was my birthday, so I was celebrating with my family. And over there I couldn't record anything, but what I actually decided to do 
was this. I got the Natis Not face guard completed and that means I did the Fremenic Exiles quest and uh, the only requirements I still had for that was just one rune crafting level, I went from 54 to 55 and three crafting levels, I went from 62 to 65, did the quest, it was a 30 minute quest, I spent 20 mil of my money which is now uh, 3.8 million left, so I don't have that much left to get the Knight is Not face guard instead of the normal Knight is Not helmet. So I now have very, very good melee gear. Uh, I don't really know what else other than this I could upgrade. Uh, it's only really the weapon. I can imagine an Inquisitor Mace maybe with a, a Vernic Defender or the Scythe being better. But that is just way out of my price range now, right now. I can't afford like a one bill weapon. So this is going to be a very, very solid setup for my future Nightmare killing. So in terms of Nightmare in this video, I'm actually going to just get 50 KC and my current KC is now, let's see, 42. So I need eight more KC and I'm just going to do it in masses because finding groups for it in five man is uh, kind of a struggle right now. And in a few days, I will be able to do duos or trios with some friends of mine, but I don't want to delay the video too much. So I'm just going to get 50 KC in this video. And the reason why it's not great to do it in masses, if you actually want to make money, is because the chance of getting an item in a mass is extremely low. It's like some people have done over 1000 kills that I've heard from and they still haven't got a single loot in their own name. Sure, they've seen drops, but it's extremely rare, as I said, to get one in your name. So the profit, of course, from the boss, if we look at, for example, here, I'm going to have a look at the total profits from 38 kills that I've tracked. It's 500k, and in terms of supplies, I've used way more than that. So you don't really make any money unless you get uniques. But uh, for this video, I'm just going to get 50 KC, and uh, I have tried some solos, and I got to the last phase, but after that, I pretty much had no supplies left. So that will have to be a bit more... Uh, practice until I can do that but uh, it would be pretty fun to be able to do that as well but I also probably need uh, a better weapon than the trident of the swamp to be able to do that more efficiently and uh, yeah so let's get 50 KC so I can actually learn the boss even better and uh, then we'll do something else. A few sand few serums uh, that is actually the best drop I've got from this boss which is kind of funny 100k drop is like the best drop so far. Oh, I got big bones. That is actually the third MVP I've got in 46 cases, a bit less than 10% uh, MVP. One more kill after this one. Magic logs, not really the best drop. You get that pretty often actually, magic logs, and uh, well, it is uh, like 10k. Okay, that is now the number 50th kill on the Nightmare, and the last drop is Blood Runes. There you go, 50 KC. And I'm actually very pleasantly surprised about this boss. I don't remember exactly throughout the video what I've said about it, but I have not died once. I was actually very scared about this boss because I've seen people do like 20 minute solos and I thought it would be a struggle. Of course, I can't solo the boss yet, but uh, the fact that there is masses that makes it super easy. And also I did try five mans and that was also even easier than masses. So uh, I'm very pleasantly surprised and this boss will be one that I'm probably going to grind quite a lot in the near future actually after I get done with uh, TOB or even a bit before that as well. I will uh, do quite a lot of Nightmare and hopefully get a drop for that Twisted Bow that I really want to get in the future for the Inferno. What we are actually going to do now is we're going to do 11 Scotiso kills and we're going to do all the hard clues for it and see if we can manage to get a pet in this. It will be 1 in 6 chance of getting a pet in these totems, so let's see if we can get lucky. I did already have one hard clue in the bank, so I just did that, so we will end with 12 in total. Oh. My. God. I wanted to enter here for a hard clue, and I was like, why can't I understand what he's saying? I have the monk cat speak amulet. That's life. Oh, I got the pet! I didn't even notice! Oh my god, I got the pet on 49kc! Oh, I, I, oh my god, it looks so good. Skotos. Now I have four in total. That is so nice. 20 runite bars as well. It looks pretty cool in the inventory as well. So, uh, wow, got that done. That's a good feeling. Let's uh, take out my money and insure this for 500k. I have- wait, don't I have four pets? Wait, did I never insure the uh, chaos element? I have to do that right now. Right, here we go. 500k goes again to insuring something. Four pets in total and I actually really like all the pets. I'm really happy with the pets I have uh, received so far on this count.
And uh, that is a second Dark Claw. It is not very rare, but uh, it is a unique drop from this boss. I think actually the only items I still haven't got from this boss is uh, the Jar of Darkness, I think it's called. And it's actually worth quite a lot, like 6 mil or something. And uh, then the, uh, uh, what is it called? The Onyx, which is extremely rare. 1 in 1000, I think. That is now all the totems completed, and let's see what the last drop is going to be. Uh, Grimy Torso, that is 166k. Actually, Scotizo money is really good, but uh, let's do the last half clue. There we go, Evil Dave gave me the last casket, so let's get all of these open now. So now, after that, Scotizo pet, we have completed all the kills, and we now have 12 hard clues to open. By the way, it is right now 34 degrees Celsius in my room, and I am... Like, I can't live here. It is insanely hot in Sweden right now, but uh, let's see if we can get some good rewards for the hard clues. 119k. How many have I done? 150 now, by the way. 49k for that one. Not very good. 238k. The Morton teleports are very, very nice. Bandos page, not really worth a lot. Um, Bandos chaps, 300k. Pretty good. 131k. Uh, 228k. Just gonna bank real quick. There we go, last 5, let's see what we get from these, 139k, 41k, this looks pretty good, 91k, okay, never mind, I guess the low earth camp teleports are not worth that much, 208k, pretty good pages right there, let's see what the last one is going to give us, it is going to give us, okay, that is, is that the worst, 49, or 43k, uh, but let's see how much we actually made from all of these clue scrolls, we made a total of... 1.6 million so that is 136,000 on average which I think is just above the average I'm not sure but yeah definitely pretty good profit from that uh, Scotty's farm now have a look at this the first slide of bosses is completely done we are done with all the bosses on the first slide the nightmare is completed in this video and we have 50 kills on the counter as well now for the second slide, we only have Theater of Blood and the Inferno left, so that is very exciting. I really want to get into the Theater of Blood. I am very, well, how do you say it? Confused uh, on how to actually get a group for this because I've never done it and there's not a lot of people who want to accept uh, People who have no experience at all, but I will have to try and see what I can do with that But it will be a struggle, but then after that I do have a goal in mind to uh, pretty much Make a small separate series after the TOB is completed, which will be just the road to getting a Twisted Bow for the Inferno. I'm thinking about maybe also getting Justiciar because it is pretty cheap. It's like, I, I don't know at the top of my head, but I think it's like 80 mil for the whole set. I might be off by a bit, but uh, 80 mil for a super, super, super good set for the Inferno would obviously be, be very good. But most of it will be in the Twisted Bow. And that is going to do it for this video. Now, I have to say, this is probably the messiest time I've ever had making a video. So I'm sorry if there's a lot of random stuff going on. Uh, I've been extremely AFK in real life from RuneScape. I've been doing so much in real life stuff. And uh, you have no idea how unmotivating also it is to play RuneScape when your room is, as I said earlier in the video, 34 degrees in your room constantly. It's like sitting in like, uh, I don't know what it's called in, it's like a sauna in your room the entire time. Like my chair is literally made of water now because I'm sweating so much, it's insane. So um, yeah, it's been a struggle getting this video out, hopefully the uh, future videos will be uh, a, mo a lot smoother. Also there is uh, an announcement, uh, on Monday there will be a new Twisted League kind of-ish thing. Announced it is going to be called the Trailblazers. It will be on stream at 5 BST on the RuneScape stream And I will be sitting watching all the info they are going to give release dates and so on And I am super excited for that and I will definitely make content on it as soon as it gets released I will nerd that thing into the ground So I uh, hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did please leave a like and if you want to see more of my content You can subscribe also, you can click any video on the screen right now if you want to see uh, any video of mine that I've done in the past right now. And uh, see you in the next one. Take care, guys.